Hey guys, welcome back to another What's For Dinner video. Today I just have three recipes to share with you. We had a couple of times where we ended up not eating at home. Uh, we went out to dinner one night with my parents, and then we went to our, have pizza at our family's house. And I also have men's feeling super great. So things just kind of got moved around. So I've just got three really easy meal ideas to share with you. Some of the things that were on my meal plan will get bumped to this next week. But anyways, I've got some quick and easy, delicious meals to share with you. So let's get started. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna do something different with the pizza dough than we normally do. This is from Aldi. We're gonna make calzones. So I'm gonna start by dividing this dough into two and spreading it out so we can make two calzones. All right, so I ended up switching over to a voiceover for this because well, the commentary was not, well, it was quiet. My husband joins us here in just a second and couldn't hear all of it. And it was just us going back and forth and it was just nonsense. So anyways, I'm doing my voiceover I'm, while I'm sitting outside. So hopefully the sound is okay. But we just divided the dough in half and my husband did his a little different than me. Um, I think he forgot about how calzones are shaped but it worked out all right. So we're just using some ricotta cheese and we're gonna use some ham, just some lunch meat, ham and like deli meat, um, some bacon pieces, bacon bits, and he put some pepperoni in his, some mozzarella, just kind of whatever we wanted, similar to pizza, but without the sauce, just sauce on the side for dipping. Um, so he filled his a little bit more. You're going to see here in just a second. Um, his got a little intense, but he did say that, and I didn't give a, a review kind of at the end of this. I meant to, and I never did. Um, but he's like, this is the best thing we've ever done with this pizza dough. <laughs> so um, I will say I have trouble with dough in general. I've been having a lot of trouble lately with it sticking and what surface to put it on and all that. So if you have any tips for me, like, should I work with it when it's cold? Should I let it warm up? Um, I don't know, if you have any tips, please, please let me know, because it's a little bit of a struggle for me. This was the point where I was like, I said to my husband, I'm like, what are you doing? Um, this is not gonna close up. Um, he also put some oregano on his, well actually I put it on for him because I was like, your hands are all messy. So, um, he just kind of brought it together and made it like a little, I think he called it a ball of glory. Um, but I will, uh, I'll show you mine. Let's, let's move on to mine and I'll show you how I did mine so it closed up a little bit easier. All right, so I'm doing a lot of the same ingredients. I'm just putting some ricotta cheese and I'm gonna do bacon and ham and then some mozzarella. Um, and I'm just, as you can see, putting it on half of mine so that I can fold it over and kind of pinch together the seams. So his worked fine. It didn't really leak. I mean, it showed a little bit of leakage. And I actually forgot to videotape the, like, right out of the oven um, videotape. Do people even say that anymore? I forgot to record or film <laughs> when they first got it out of the oven. Um, so I just show you a shot after I kind of cut mine in half. But um, that's how I did mine. His was a lot fuller. And I don't know if you consider it calzone or not, but these were really, really, really good. We might do this next time instead of pizza again, because it was just absolutely delicious. And then I just melted a little bit of butter, put some garlic powder and some Parmesan in it, mix that together and brush that over the top. Just, I like the butter on there. It gives it that golden brown and just the garlic and Parmesan, a little added flavor. I baked it in the oven according to the package directions. I hope you can hear me. It is really windy out here now. For 450, for 12 to 15 minutes is what the package says, but it was probably closer to 20 minutes for ours. But this came out seriously so good, guys. Highly recommend that. Tonight for dinner, we're going with a simple baked pasta. I say baked pasta because I'm pretty sure I'm using penne instead of ziti. Um, so, and I'm gonna make a smaller dish, but I'm just gonna grease that up. I don't really follow a recipe. Most people, or a lot of people, I should say, I don't wanna assume, have made um, like baked ziti before, but if you're looking for a specific recipe, feel free to go ahead and uh, look one up, but I think you just kinda do it to taste with whatever ratios you like. Just gonna drain my pasta really quick. 
So I've got a three quarters full marinara. Just gonna put a little sauce at the bottom. I'm gonna just do everything right in here. I'm not gonna mix anything separately because I just don't want to make any more dishes, so yeah. I'm going to dump in our pasta. I think that's a little more than a half a pound, but I tried. I think if you do like a full 9 by 13, it's like a pound of pasta, a jar of sauce, a container of ricotta. It's kind of just like a whole whatever, but we're just going to do it in here. <laughs> I had some ricotta we use part of it for calzones we use some of this sauce so my husband used it for something and then we use some of it for dipping for the calzones and so i was like well this is perfect to just do a partial or like a smaller pan of ricotta so that's what we're gonna do or goodness gracious a smaller pan of baked ziti i'm not afraid of ricotta so we're just gonna actually that's uh, be too much. I was gonna say I'm just gonna finish out the container, but yeah, I'm gonna finish out the container. It was like, it was a little more than halfway full. I just totally flung ricotta on my shirt. I got a little too excited over the ricotta. Okay, thought I was recording. I had just a tiny bit of grated Parmesan, not much, but I had a tiny bit, so I put that in here. We're just cleaning out the fridge. I apologize if you can hear a random dripping noise. I have a couple things in the sink and whenever I put on the sink for a second, which I did to try to clean the ricotta off my shirt, um, it just like drips off of the dishes in there. Anyways, we're gonna add, we'll add some of this Parmesan and Romano. I won't go too heavy on this. I like this more than my husband, but I can add this to my own serving. We're gonna add some more sauce. I'll just add the rest of this. Holy, now I'm getting sauce. So I guess once I get this in the oven, I will change my shirt. Put on a little bit of Italian seasoning, just to doctor up that sauce a little bit. Then I've got some mozzarella. I'm just gonna put whatever's left. This I grated up for the calzones as well. And there's probably like a cup here. Usually when I grate cheese, I just like finish out the block and put it in a container in the fridge. I do like to grate my own cheese. I rarely buy it grated, although I do occasionally. And not that it's a lot of work to grate it, but usually while I'm doing it and dirtying up the cheese grater, I'm like, I'll just do a little bit more and save it for the next recipe. I'm just gonna clean up my edges a little bit. And I'll pop this in the oven at 350 for half hour to 45 minutes. And then I'll make some salads. And I have some um, Italian bread that I pulled out of the freezer. And I'm trying to decide if we'll just slice it or if we'll make some garlic bread out of it. I'm gonna check with my husband to see what he would like to do. And yeah, so let's get this in the oven. It's a lovely evening, so we are eating outside tonight. We got the baked CD and some bread and butter. Yes, I've got two pieces. Don't judge me. One of them's the end, it's small, whatever. It's a beautiful night out here. Got her lights on. And I'm it's out a, here. he's out here. He's pretty and night. he's beautiful. So and precious. and precious. And this is our dinner for tonight. Alright, so I did not film anything yet of dinner tonight, but we're having breakfast for dinner. We're gonna have French toast. Y'all probably are familiar with that. So I got bacon in the oven cooking. I have some Italian bread left over from um, the other night. I sliced that up. I did like a I want it thicker, but I didn't want to do too thick because I didn't want it to be like soggy. And I've got some eggs and some milk. My husband's in the background watching watching baseball and he's very excited apparently. And he can't hear me because he has his headphones on. But we can all still hear him and his outburst. <laughs> apparently the Yankees are doing well. Anyways, I have eggs and some almond milk just because that's what we use. I put some vanilla in there. I'm also going to put a little bit of cinnamon. Sorry for my voice, I am congested, I am not feeling great, but I'm very excited for this dinner because French toast is like my favorite breakfast food. So, I'm not gonna show you how we're doing all this because French toast is pretty easy, but if you've never had it before, you wanna, uh, a griddle would be great. I don't have a griddle, so I'm gonna use my pan and some butter. 
Dip your bread in your egg and milk mixture. That's the only thing you need is egg and milk. You can add other stuff if you want. Cook it on both sides till it's, you know, browned and not soggy. And there's your French toast. So I will show you the end, but you see what's happening here. Delicious, easy dinner. Probably one of the ones I'm most excited about because I love French toast. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. I know it wasn't much, but between um, a couple of like eating with family, not eating at home and such, and then we had a wedding to go to and all of that, that's just kind of what it worked out to. But I'm excited to just kind of carry over some of the things that were on my meal plan to next week. I usually try to share my meal plan at my grocery hauls. If you don't normally watch those, that's where they are. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I feel like I'm moving a lot. I'm sorry. I just had an itch on my arm and I've already restarted this video twice. So I know that's not super professional. Sorry. Um, but if you don't mind not super, super professional, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.